here to meet with the God that answered prayers. Lift your hands, lift your voice, and begin to say sweet things to Him. Worship Him in the beauty of His holiness. Say sweet things to this our God. He deserves to be praised because we know these seven days will not go in vain. We will receive our testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we are worship. Jesus, you are my best friend. I can lie to the worker with you. You know they lie, you know they pay me why you I can lie to the worker with you. Jesus, you are my best friend. I can lie to the worker with you. Oh, 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 oh,
God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah, you are the man of God. Your mercies endure forever. this God and so wherever you are listening to us tonight either you are participating on Zoom or you are watching us on Facebook or you are listening to us on radio or you are even right here standing in our presence I want you to just lift up your voice of gratitude to this God for all he has done in your life for all he is doing right now even for all that he will yet do. I want you to just open your mouth and begin to appreciate this God. Just say, Father, I'm grateful to you. Lord, we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful. I am grateful, I am grateful for life. I am grateful for preservation. I am grateful for protection. I am grateful for provision. I am grateful for journey mercy. I'm grateful for victories. I'm grateful, oh God, for breakthroughs. I am grateful for your signs or your wonders or your miracles. I am grateful, oh God, for answer prayers. I am grateful because I have you as my God. I am grateful for the salvation of my soul. Brethren, there are many things we are grateful for. If not for anything, your hope, your hope in him. Can you appreciate God? Because you are, you have hope in the Lord. Just give God all the praise. Just give God all the adoration. Let God hear your voice tonight. Mazuka pale bradeka santa lima mam. 
Oh, he's worthy of our praise. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be magnified. There is none like him. There is none beside him. No one to be compared unto him. Let's thank this God that answered by fire. This all knowing God. This all seeing God. He know all that we are passing through. He know the burdens of our heart. He know our heart desire. He know what we, he knows what we want him to do. That's why the Bible say unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Let's appreciate. Appreciate God. Let's appreciate God. Brethren, lift up your voices to Him and just give God all the glory. Just give God all the glory. Masuka ba le brande kasanta le mama zigade ka kapa ye kasanta le mama kasinta le braka po kasinta le mama kasinta le. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have worship tonight. I want you to lift up your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father. You can do better. Say, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus for mercy tonight. Is there anything, oh God, that want to hinder my prayers? Lord, I put them under the blood tonight. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? Gazika la breka pakasun talimama kashentele. Daddy, anything, 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 anything that may want to hinder my prayers tonight, Lord, we put them under the blood, under the blood, under the blood. Mazeka palima kashentele, Mama. Zaglande gaba kashentele. Thank you, Mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. I thought somebody would say a louder amen. Very quickly, you want to take one or two prayer points before we go into the business of the night. Once again, we want to welcome all our, our participants on Zoom and all our listeners on radio and all our viewers on Facebook. We say you are all welcome. Uh, we broadcasting from the church auditorium by His grace. And of course, we have... Uh, so many of our members also in the auditorium because they are living nearby and they can easily walk to their houses or just drive one or two minutes to get to their house. Praise the Lord. Uh, if you are within the neighborhood and you didn't know that uh, uh, you were not in service uh, in the morning and so you didn't know that uh, we will actually be broadcasting from uh, 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 the church auditorium. Uh, this we started tonight to round out the remaining seven days of this 21 days video and this is just due to uh, popular demand and the fact that most of our members also uh, many are not opportune to have phones that are internet enabled and so a lot of people are actually cut off from this VG uh, looking at the level of participation online and what have you but all we know is that God will still do what he wants to do in Jesus' name. And so we have many uh, right here now in the auditorium. And uh, I also know that uh, uh, before I came to the altar, quite a number of us also have already hooked up on radio and also on Zoom. And so we wave at our hand at all of you uh, that are listening to us via Zoom and uh, Facebook. We say you are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Uh, the beauty of the whole thing is that there is no distance in the spirit realm. And so as many of us that might be listening to us, either in the United States of America, in Canada, in Europe, and wherever, I want, to, I, I want you to rest assured that God Almighty is where you are, and he will also answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, usually when we have this program, we ask brethren to come with their oil that we put on the altar, and we pray uh, uh, on them uh, from night to night. Uh, if for any reason you are not able to bring your own oil because of your distance, I know you may have uh, an altar in your house where you always pray to God and what have you. Just take that bottle of oil, place it at the place of your altar, either the family altar or your personal altar, that corner in your room, that corner in your living room, where you meet to pray just put it there and by the special grace of God that place will also be connected to the throne of the almighty God and God almighty from time to time as we pray concerning this oil it will also saturate it with power in the name of Jesus and we also announce in the morning that there is no uh, good morning Holy Spirit for now 
till uh, the end of this week when we'll be rounding up on Sunday. So our good morning, Holy Spirit, we continue upper Monday, upper Monday, not today. Praise the Lord. And that is why uh, by the time we'll be rounding up this morning, uh, uh, because we're already in morning in Nigeria, but those of all listening to us, it's already some few minutes after 12. I mean, meaning we're already in Monday, 8th of March. And so we'll be having anointing service. Uh, get your oil. For as many of all participating online, get a bottle of oil closer to yourself so that by the time we'll be anointing ourselves here in the auditorium, you will also anoint yourself. Like I said earlier, there is no distance in the spirit realm. And be rest assured that you will have testimony in the name of Jesus. If you are that fellow, say a louder amen. amen. I hope this my announcement are very clear. And I also believe that uh, every one of us are hearing loud and clear from whatever platform you have joined us. Uh, I believe that uh, this is to enable a lot of us to also participate. And so this night, the Lord will answer us in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8, verse 31 to 32. Romans chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. He said, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Can I pray for only one person tonight? That in that name that is above every other name, anyone planning or anything that is against you, we bow to your God. Yeah. You better say that amen loud and clear. Yeah. I say anything working or want to work against you, we bow to your God because the Bible says what shall we then say to these things if God be for us who can be against us and that's why if you read verse 2 he said he that spared not his own son but deliver him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things if God is also for you there is nothing you will ask that he will not give to you. I am excited because in that name that is above every other name, everything, anything you desire, he will freely deliver it to you. And so you want to take about three, four, five prayer points as spirit leads tonight. I want you to lift up your two hands to heaven and cry loud and clear and say, Father, according to your word, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Say, oh God, my father, please be for me. Be for me and my household that nothing shall be able to be against us. Can you go ahead and talk to the almighty God that the Lord will be for you. The Lord will stand for you. The Lord will stand by you in the name of Jesus. If God be for us, who can be against us? Which principalities? Which rulers of that man? Which witches and wizards? What is it that can be against us? Can you go ahead and begin to talk to the mighty God? The Lord, you will be for me. You will be for me and my household. If God be for all, who can be against us? In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The implication of that scripture is that if God be for all, who can be against us imply that if God is for all, anything that is against us, we bow to the name of our God. Can I pray for you, sir? Anything working against you, saying that your greatness, your glory, God's agenda for your life, God's agenda for your marriage, for your family, will not come to pass. They will bow tonight. I said they will bow tonight. Lift up your voice loud and say, Father, what can be against me if you are for me? Therefore, oh God, any power 
any forces, any man, born or woman, working against me, working against my destiny, working against my progress, working against my lifting, working against my breakthrough, working against my success. Let them bow tonight. Lift up your voice and talk to the Almighty God that they will bow tonight. Masuka balebra gada, ipote gazika balima kasanda limama zegere gazuka prada. Whatsoever that is against you, working against you, secretly or openly, ah ah, marigabaga zonta brande. Report to Gazanta. Is somebody praying at all? Anything that is working against you, ah ah, pale babosa pala brada. Brethren, cry to the Almighty God. Is it your working place? Is it your place of business? Is it against your children? Anything that is against you, ah uh ah. -uh. God know the thing that are against you. Masuka praga zanta li mama. Gelebaka te gazanta li. Broke te gazunta brande kasanta li mama. Whatsoever that is working against you, <laughs> working against your fruitfulness, working against your progress, working against your success, working against your prosperity, working against your breakthrough, let them bow tonight. Let them cry to the Almighty God. Pray that they will bow tonight. Bazuka pale prakata, jegeli baba 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 baba, karakate gabrande kasunta limama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If God be for us, what can be against us? What is that thing? What is that thing? Can I pray for you, sir? Whatever that been working against you till this moment, till this night, I command, let them bow in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, he that spared not his own son, but deliver him all for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us how many things? Oh my God. I say how many things? That is good news for somebody. Because all the things you are believing God for in participating in this video, in that name that is above every other name, the Lord will give it to you. What do you need? You need peace? God will freely give it to you. You need joy, God will freely give it to you. You need breakthrough, God will freely give it to you. You need healing, God will freely give it to you. You need a job, God will freely give it to you. You need promotion, God will freely give it to you. You need lifting, God will freely give it to you. If you are that fellow, say a louder amen. amen. Lift up your two hands to heaven. How will he not freely give to us all things? I love this scripture. That's why I know my God that answered by fire will answer you. Amen. Say, Father, Father. say, Father, Father, all that I need, all that I've been asking for, you are the God that answered by fire. Freely give me all things, all things, all things, all things. Can you go ahead and begin to ask? I don't know what you are believing God for. I don't know what you are trusting God for. You cannot keep awake at this hour of the midnight and God will not answer you. Ah, how will not freely give us all things? That's what the Bible says. All things. There is nothing God cannot give to you. Therefore, open your mouth and place a demand. Make a request. Cry to God desperately tonight. Desperately tonight. Violently tonight. Ah, this is a word of assurance that there is nothing God cannot give to you. There is nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing. Meaning your hour has come for God to deliver your miracle, to deliver your blessings. Palika pragadaba sontali mama zigede gazuka ba yekete gazuka pradaga santali ani zegali mama sontali mama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. How shall he not with him also freely give us how many things? All things. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, <laughs> you can do better. Say, Father, everything I have been asking for, all the things I have been asking for, even before they break tonight, oh God, my Father. 
give them to me. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Let God give to you all that you have been asking for. All that you have been asking for. Marika Pakasa Lima Shente Libaba. Zelele Gabrande Kasun Talima. Zegade Kapalima Kasan Talima Mansan Taliande. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, you will receive. We are ever, my Father, hear the loudest amen. I stand upon the authority of the word of God that in that name that is above every other name whatsoever that be working against you working against your progress working against your lifting working against your peace working against your joy working against your breakthrough working against your promotion let them bow tonight in the name of Jesus I thought your amen would be louder than everybody decree in that name that is above every other name from this night onward nothing shall be able to work against you in the name of Jesus anything that has been done at the hour of midnight to work against you in life this night by the power in the blood and by the power in the name of Jesus eh? let them bow in the name of Jesus I decree in that name that is above every other name all the days of your life the Lord will be for you and fight for you in the name of Jesus everything you have been asking God for he said he's able to freely give us all things I decree before sunrise today before sunrise today whatsoever you have been believing God for let God answer by fire in the name of Jesus let heaven deliver to you in the name of Jesus the Lord will give you your joy give you peace give you breakthrough give you greatness in the name of Jesus give you good health give you strength give you power and authority in the name of Jesus thank you mighty father for we pray in Jesus name I just want to say a louder amen, amen. put those hands together for the almighty God hallelujah and let's please be seated just for a few minutes if you know the position you are in your room or in your living room you can easily sleep off I will encourage you not to sit down but clearly those of us that are washing from the comfort of our home it's so easy to fall asleep and before you know it by the time you wake up you say have the VG ended Let somebody shout hallelujah <laughs> that's why iron sharpened iron praise the Lord I say iron does what sharpened iron and so if you are in the house wake up others so that together you can do it so that uh, the according to the Bible one will chase a thousand and two will chase how many? Ten thousand. We are talking tonight about the wonders of his fire. Why does God answer by fire? It's because whenever the fire fall, a lot of wonders take place. The last time we met before we switched to the special Holy Ghost service, we were talking about the encounter of Peter. And that's why I'm continuing tonight. How the fire fell for Peter, according to the book of Joel, chapter 2. All that God said he's going to do when he answered by fire, praise the Lord. And suddenly on the day of Pentecost, the fire fell. And Peter was telling everybody around that what you are seeing and what you are hearing and what is happening is what God had prophesied through his prophet in the book of Joel. Praise the Lord. And so, when you read that Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, which is God answering by fire, by now, the disciples were gathered in the upper room praying, crying to God just like we are doing tonight that God should give us all things 
God should not allow anything to work against us. And I know he will answer in the name of Jesus. Suddenly, as they were praying, God answered by fire. Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. I am praying tonight, a sound from heaven will come upon us in the name of Jesus. He said, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And he filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongue like as of fire. Cloven tongues like as of fire. And he sat upon each of them. Each of them. There was no one left out. I am praying for somebody wherever you are listening to all. God will not pass you by tonight. The same fire that we fall here tonight will fall upon you wherever you are in the name of Jesus. Because this night, wonders will begin in your life in the name of Jesus. Wonders will begin in your home and family in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, And there appeared unto them cloven tongue like as of fire, and he sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues. And the Spirit gave them utterance. Beloved, this night shall be your own experience. I say this night shall be your own experience. Beloved, this fire that fell is the fire of the Holy Ghost. It is what? The fire of the Holy Ghost. I have told us before that our God is a consuming fire. When he answered by fire against the enemy, they are roasted. But when he answered by fire, for his children, they are refined. They are purified. Praise the Lord. They are empowered. Amen? And that's why I'm praying for somebody. Just as silver and gold passes through fire and they began to shine in that name that is above every other name. God will answer you by fire and transform your destiny in the name of Jesus. Beloved, when this fire fell on that day of Pentecost as a result of answer prayers you discover that some wonderful things happen amen so what as a matter of fact it's a wonderful thing to be filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost and so as the anointing come upon somebody tonight I am praying for you that God will fill you afresh. I say God will fill you afresh. One more time. God will fill you afresh. What are the wonders of his fire? When his fire come down, what are the wonders? Because this must happen in our life tonight. I say this must happen in our life tonight. If you are that fellow, say a louder amen. amen. The first thing that happened when the fire fall is that every obstacle, every barrier, every mountain, every hill, they are made plain. They are made what? If you don't believe me, check it out. In that second key chapter 18, where Elijah prepared the altar on Mount Carmel and he called on the God that answered by fire and that God answered by fire. The mountain called prophet of Baas. All of them was brought down. Praise the Lord. In the case of David in 1 Samuel chapter 16 after the fire came upon David as soon as Samuel anointed him when Goliath appeared Goliath could not withstand him and listen to me in the book of Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 God was speaking to Zerubbabel he said then he answered and speak unto me saying this is the word of the Lord unto who Zerubbabel saying not by might not by what not by power but by my spirit said the Lord of who who are thou who are what thou oh great mountain 
before Zerubbabel. He said, Thou shalt become a plain and shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting, crying, grace, grace unto him. Don't forget that the fire of the Holy Ghost is also the Spirit of God. It's also what? The Spirit of God. And so when he comes down, every mountains are made plain. Can I pray for only one person listening to me? Wherever it may be, all over the world. Anything that represents mountain, anything that represents obstacle, everything that, anything that represents barrier, standing between you and your breakthrough, standing between you and your success, standing between you and your greatness, standing between you and your fruitfulness, standing between you and your marriage, standing between you and your wonders, this night, they shall be brought down in the name of Jesus. They shall be made play in the name of Jesus. Maybe you need to stand and fire this prayer arrow very quickly. Wherever you are listening to us, stand on your feet right now. Stand on your feet right now because I know this God will answer you. Lift up those hands to heaven and say, Father, send down fire. Holy Ghost fire. Send down fire again. Holy Ghost fire. Send down fire. Send down fire. I say, Holy Ghost fire. Tonight, Lord, send down fire again. Holy Ghost fire. Little Joe said to him, and say, Father, every mountain, every obstacle, every barrier standing between me and my breakthrough, standing between me and my fruitfulness standing between me and my joy standing between me and my peace Lord send your fire tonight and let them be brought down can you go ahead and talk to the almighty God ask the Lord to send down the fire let them be brought down let them be brought down let them be brought down Masuka Brandeka Santa Limama Oh Masita Limama Kashente Limama Gazika Tiba Lebra Kasanta Limama Gabale Brande Gazika Leba Baba Gaye Kaprande Gazon Talia Gazika Baleba Tu Gaye Kakaba Lebra Kasunta Limama Kele Brande Gabaka Shentelia Legada Bragada Baka Shentelimama Gezika Tolema Kashentelia Oh Masika Limama Gagaba Kasakato Le Brande Kashentelia Kim Branda, Kim Branda, Kim Branda, Kim Branda, Kim Branda, Gazika la Braca Sontalia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Can you stretch out your hands to heaven? I stand upon this altar of God tonight. I don't know what is an obstacle between you and your breakthrough. I don't know what is an obstacle between you and the desire of your heart. This night, let the fire fall and bring them down in the name of Jesus. I say, let the fire fall, bring them down in the name of Jesus. One more time, let the fire fall and bring them down in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. Whatsoever that have not allowed you to make the progress you're supposed to make in business, in your career, in your occupation, in ministry, anything that has been limiting your progress in that name that is above every other name because the assignment of mountains is to limit your progress is to limit your vision I command anything that has been limiting you, let the fire consume tonight in the name of Jesus I repeat, let the fire consume in the name of Jesus Thank you, Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. Be seated in his presence for a while. Beloved, one of the wonders of the fire is the miracles. Is what? When the fire of God falls, miracles take place easily. Miracles take place what? In that second king, first king, in that first king chapter 18, when the fire came down, Listen to me. When the fire came down upon the altar of Elijah, miracles took place. If the Bible says that fire consumed the stone, consumed the wood, consumed the 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 uh, 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 the firewood, and then licked the water. Listen to me. <laughs> 
If there's anything that must not go side by side with fire, it's called what? Water. When fire is burning, what do you use to quench fire? Water. But it is miracle that fire came down rather than water hindering the fire from burning, from consuming. The Bible says the fire licked the water. That is a miracle. And listen to me. The life of Peter in our text of tonight, Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4, became a life of daily miracle immediately after that encounter. That same day, that day of Pentecost, read it, sir, read it, man. That same day, a miracle took place. Peter that have never preached before suddenly preached to a multitude of souls and 3,000 were saved. The Bible made us to know that the same power that saves soul is the same power that works miracle. Hello? By the power of the fire of God that came down, 3,000 souls were added. By the time you get to Acts chapter 3, the lame man at Gay Beautiful became whole, received strength, began to praise God. Read it Acts chapter 3 verse 4 to 10. Why? Because somebody have contacted fire. I am praying for somebody tonight. I don't know the miracle you need. I don't know what you are believing God for. The fire that will bring it about will fall on you tonight in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Only one person is saying amen. Yeah. Let me ask you, sir. Let me ask you, man. Do you need any miracle at all? Hello? I said, do you need any miracle at all? <laughs> check act, check uh, Second King chapter 2. When the fire of Elisha fell and he received the double portion anointing. Sir, his life became a miracle. As soon as he returned to Jericho and the people gathered around him and said, look, the city is pleasant, but the water is not. Instantly, a miracle took place that the water of Jericho, the Bible says, was healed till when? Till today. I am praying for you. I don't know the miracle you are believing God for. But before this night be over, God will perform a miracle in your life. All you need is the fire. When the fire come, miracles take place. Miracle does what? Take place. Stand on your feet. When Philip took the fire to Samaria, the Bible says there was all manners of miracles all manners of healing, all manners of deliverances because somebody carrying fire enter into a city. I am praying for somebody that after tonight's encounter, by daybreak, everywhere you step, miracle will take place. Everywhere you go, miracle will take place. Everyone you have an encounter with, they will know something has happened. If you are that fellow, say a louder Amen. I say, if you are that fellow, say a powerful amen. amen. Lift up your two hands. You want to take three prayer points at this junction. You want to do what? Three prayer points. The first thing that happened when the fire fell on the Lord of Pentecost was that Peter himself was a recipient, was a receiver of a miracle. Whatever miracle you are believing God for, before this night be over, you will receive. So cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, answer me by fire and perform miracles in my life. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Can you ask the Lord to perform a miracle? Let God perform a miracle. I don't know where you need God's divine intervention. Say, Lord, answer me by fire tonight and perform a miracle in my life. Perform a miracle, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle. My sick calabrada, suspend natural order by your fire in my life. Kairika, Palebra, Santa Lima, Zegedegede, Gabuka, Santa Lia. 
be perform miracles in our midst. Perform miracles in the life of all your children tonight. Barika pale brakato gazandalia. Zagayen lemos kato barima kasanta le mama. Zegete gazuka ya panda la bragada. Zegede gazuta da bali mama. Kaka braka santa le mama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Listen to me, sir. Not only that God will perform miracle in your life, but you know what? Signs, wonders, and miracle will begin to follow you. <laughs> Do you know the implication? You will get to a place where they're supposed to tell you no. Suddenly they will just tell you yes. That's a miracle. Amen. You just discover that something that's been troubling you in your body suddenly just ceases. I was listening to a testimony of one of our mother in the Lord during the uh, 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 Holy Ghost service. She said she was having a pain in her neck that reaches her legs. That the children help her to get a POP that she can't turn her neck. If she has to turn her neck, she has to turn her whole body. He said, but that night, as she was going to the Holy Ghost service, she said, Lord, I just performed a miracle in my life. Lord, just do something in my life. He says, as the man of God took the mic and got to the altar, the first thing he said is that there is somebody here who cannot turn his neck without turning his body. The pain is gone. She said instantly, she felt that the pain left and she turned to the pastor that was beside her and said, sir, the pain is gone. The pain, can I pray for somebody, sir? Anything in your body that you don't want, right now, let the fire of God consume them in the name Jesus. <laughs> sir, ma, I have seen God perform miracles. I remember a particular night at the Holy Ghost service that I shed tears. I was crying like a baby. Why? Where I sat in the auditorium, that faithful night, our Father and the Lord said, if you know you have any problem and you need a miracle, because God will do it here tonight. He says, come forward. Beside me was a man seated with leg pain and clutches. With what? Leg pain and what? He was on clutches. He went to the altar. Hello? He did what? And instantly, instantly, he left the clutches right there on the altar and he was jumping and he was, Sir, I saw it and I started crying. Why? The fellow was sitting right beside me before he went to the altar. Lift up your two hands. A miracle that will cause people around you to wonder. Before they break, let God perform in your life. Lift up your voice loud and say, Father, let miracle signs and wonders follow me for the rest of my life. By the reason of your fire, go ahead and touch your man. Chigo, mazika la brande ka santa lima ma ke le branda ga ba 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 ka rema sakuta branda ka santa lima ma zele ga ga bra ka santa lima ma ke li branda ke zeka to lima ma ka santa li ke zanto li bra ka santa li ke ga ga ba la ba ka santa eh ga zenta lima. Oh, Masinta le mama. Eh, Gazinta le mama. Que le braga Gazanta le mama. Thank you, Father. In Jesus most wonderful name, we have prayed. I want you to give I want to give you an opportunity tonight. And I want you to be specific. It's all between you and God. I don't know the kind of miracle you want. Maybe you just want God to give you a breakthrough. Maybe you don't want God to miraculously open the door for you. I want you to lift up your two hands. Or you want to carry your baby. Listen to me, sir. I know God's presence is where you are tonight. And I know when his presence comes down, when his fire comes down, anything can happen. Lift up your two hands. And say, Father, this is the miracle I want you to perform in my life. 
Now, you go ahead and be specific now. If you don't need a miracle, just call my name. Call Pastor Sunday Avose and say, Lord, perform miracle in his life. Lord, perform a miracle in the life of Pastor Sunday Avose. I need so many miracles. Go ahead, touch with the Almighty God. God is still performing miracles. The Almighty God is still performing miracles. I don't give you testimonies right now. That same God is still alive. Calibra Kason Talima. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. I thought somebody would say a louder amen. amen. Be seated for a while. Number three, the wonders of his fire. The fire delivers from bondage. From what? Judges chapter 15, verse 12 to 14. And they said unto him, We are come down to bind thee, that we may deliver thee unto the hand of the Philistines. And Samson said unto them, Swear unto me, that ye will not fall upon me yourself. And they speak unto him, saying, No, but we will bind thee fast, and deliver thee into their hand, but surely we will not kill thee. And they bound him, with what? Two new cords and brought him up from the rock. Praise the Lord. Verse 14. And when he came unto Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him, and the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the cords that were upon his arm became as flask that was born with fire flask that was born with what? Fire. And his band loose from off his hand. Beloved, many of us are struggling because we are bound. Many of us are struggling because we are not at liberty to do what we are supposed to do. Listen to me. When they burned Samson, the fire came and the wonder that the fire performed in his life was that the bondage that this that his household kept him that cord was melted by fire stand on your feet stand on your feet i see a lot of us making progress yeah. sir this year 2021 you will make faster and speedy progress than last year. And whatever that want to keep you in bondage so that you don't make progress, the fire of God will roast them in the name of Jesus. Sama. Can you imagine? I think I've shared it here before. Samson was burned by who? members of his household his brethren do you know that those laughing with you those smiling those that pretend to be friends they may be the one walking against you can you imagine brethren of Samson were the one that bind him and handed him over to the enemy Thank God for fire. Can somebody say fire? fire. I say, can somebody say fire? fire? Listen to me, sir. If the fire did not fall when the Philistines shouted, what would have happened? At least you know the rest of the story. The other time when the fire now supposed to fall and it did not fall, you know what the Philistines did to Samson, isn't it? They would have done it earlier. They would have done it earlier. That's why I'm begging you, sir. Run away from sin. Sin is fire quencher. If not for sin in the life of Samson, the enemy would not have gotten him. Because when they tried to bind him and the fire came, the fire delivered him from bondage. Lift up your two hands to heaven and cry loud and clear to the Almighty God and say, Father, I refuse to operate in bondage this year. Send down your fire. Set me free totally. 
set me free tonight from any form of bondage. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? I will not operate in bondage. I will not operate in bondage this year. I will not operate in bondage. I will not know financial bondage. I will not know material bondage. I will not know spiritual bondage. Lord, send down your fire. Set me free. 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 Karaba to grabaka shetele mama. Zagada gada gabaka son talbaba. Jegede gazika praka thank you mighty father in jesus mighty name we are praying let me tell you how you can easily know that you are in bondage the easiest way to know that you are in bondage is when you are not getting your desirables when the available become desirable for you, you are in bondage. Take it or leave it. You need a shoe. You are unable to get that shoe. You can only get slippers. Bedroom slippers. There is tendency you are in bondage. How do I know? Read Exodus chapter 3. As long as the children of Israel remain in bondage, nothing they labor without resort. They did what? That's why God Himself had to come down and answer by fire, telling Moses in that Exodus chapter three. He said, "I have seen the sorrow of my people. I have seen what the taskmasters." Taskmasters are forces that keep a destiny under bondage. But when God answered by fire, they were delivered. Lift up your two hands to heaven and cry unto the Almighty God and say, Father, all throughout this year and beyond, let me not labor in vain. For all my labor, let that be resolved. 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 For all my labor, Lord, let that be resolved. Kazika brande kasanta limama keliya kapakato glaba kashenteliya zakada gazika plono gazanta le kakabra kasanta limama zakaye gerebo kasunta limama keliya gaba kasanta li. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus mighty name we pray. That takes us to the last point that we will handle before the anointing and then we will be on our way. Brethren, when God spoke to our Father in the Lord this year and said there will be restoration, the greatest restoration any man can receive is for you to come to fulfillment of your destiny. <laughs> when that fire fell on the day of Pentecost, the destiny of Peter was restored. Why? If you read that Luke chapter 5 verse 10, God, Jesus said to Peter, he said, you will be fishers of what? Men. Am I correct? But like I told us uh, 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 on Wednesday, Peter was a fisherman before Jesus met him. But Jesus revealed to him that your destiny is that you'll be what? Fishers of men. After Jesus was crucified. Do you know what Peter did? In that book of John chapter 20, he said to the rest disciples, he said, Mew, I go ah, fishing. He went back to fishing. Walking outside his destiny. Sir, do you know the greatest thing God can do for you is that before this 21 day be over, you discover your destiny. That your destiny is fully restored. Sir, man, that day when the fire fell, what Jesus prophesied concerning Peter came to pass. From that day onward, God began to use Peter to bring multitude. That was his destiny. Sir, ma, God have a destiny for you. Your encounter with fire will bring it to pass. And if you don't believe me, go and ask Elisha. Elisha was a farmer with his father. 
before God instructed Elijah to anoint Elisha in his place. Sir, Elisha could not be anointed in the place of Elijah until that day in, in 2 Kings chapter 2 when he asked ask anything. He said, I need double portion. He said, you have asked for what? A hard thing. But as soon as he saw the chariot of fire and the horses of fire, the fire came upon him. What God have ordained concerning Elisha came to pass. Elisha did not die a farmer, but Elisha died a prophet to nation. I am praying for you. Whatever God have ordained for your life, you will not operate outside your destiny. Yeah. Sir, 99% of people on earth are operating outside their destiny. Listen to me. Let me give you the simplest of all the examples. Sir, if not for the fire of God, our father and the Lord, Pastor Iadebo, would have died a lecturer. Highest case scenario, they will give him the position of a vice chancellor. And he will have been happy. And he will have said that he has reached the climax of his career. Am I correct? But his destiny will still not have been fulfilled. But he will not know. Do you see the implication? I mean, somebody well read, became a lecturer, had a vision and a dream. I want to be the youngest vice chancellor. And everything was working for him. Through of us. And then, he encountered Jesus. He encountered Jesus. He encountered fire. Just like we were told during the second uh, 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 service by the preacher, sir, that fire said, remove reverend doctor. Remove everything. I want to start with you. This man today is a phenomenon. He's what? <laughs> President call him father. Governors call him father. All over the world, he is father of nations. Hello? If he have continued as a lecturer, will he ever attain the height? Let me tell you, sir, that you are doing well in your career may not mean that you are in your destiny. Hello? That you are doing well in business may still not imply that you are in your destiny. Learn from the encounter our father and the Lord have. He was doing well in his career but an encounter with fire restored his original destiny. Can I pray for only one person? In that name that is above every other name, you will not die unfulfilled. Listen, anytime I am ministering and God gives me opportunity, when you get to things like this, I, I just beg God. How Nisha, how Nisha? You didn't hear that one. If you don't understand Yoruba, go and Google it. Praise God. <laughs> Lift up your two hands to heaven. Mordecai the destiny of Mordecai was to reign but he was a gate man he was what lift up your two hands the last prayer point before we go into the anointing and say father you can do better sir say father restore my original destiny send your fire and restore my original destiny. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Lord, restore my original destiny. Lord, restore, 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 restore. As you restore the original destiny of Peter after the encounter with fire, Lord, restore, 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 restore tonight. As many listening to us all over the world by fire, restore original destiny. Masuka Bragada 
Nabuska, Jegede, Kazika, Pra, Ote, Gazandali, Ragade, Getonda, Lima, Suntabra, Ipote, Gazika, Pa, Kuga, Balekete, Gagaga, Garagada, Gadabosh, Antalia, Brekete, Gazu, Pranda, Limpo, Sipando, Le Brando, Jegede, Gazuntali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Lift up your two hands to heaven. And you can lift up your own bottle of oil as we round up tonight. Lift up your bottle of oil. In that name that is above every other name, the fire of God will saturate that oil in your hand. Paraventure, you are derailing from your original destiny that God has ordained for you. As this oil touches you tonight, let the fire of God restore your original destiny in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you have lost to COVID-19, whatsoever you have lost in life, this night, at God answer by fire, receive restoration in the name of Jesus. Receive financial restoration in the name of Jesus. Receive material restoration in the name of Jesus. Receive physical restoration in the name of Jesus. Receive marital restoration in the name of Jesus. Receive spiritual restoration in the name of Jesus. Let God touch you by fire in the name of Jesus. Every oil you have lifted up, let them cease to be ordinary. As you anoint yourself with this oil, let the yoke of bondages be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let miracles happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Let there be total restoration in the name of Jesus. Let uncommon and unusual strength come upon you in the name of Jesus. And I decree nothing will hinder your progress anymore. I say nothing will hinder your progress anymore. Every barrier, every obstruction, every hindrance to your progress shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. You can go ahead and anoint yourself from that oil you hold and then the... Those of us that didn't come with oil and you want to be anointed, you can just come, then the ministers will just pour the oil in your hand and then you anoint yourself in the name of God the Father, God the Son and there will be manifestation in your lives in Jesus' name. those of us listening to us online go ahead anoint yourself and also at this moment you can give your offering at the same time let the ushers provide the baskets for, for offering ushers ushers can we have baskets for offering thank you Jesus God bless you God bless you God bless you Kalimato Gabrale Kasanta Limama Zale Bata Gabashi Telima Kasanta Lia Rabruno Kusanta Limama Kazeke Telebrale Kasanta Lia Le Kabrande Kasanta Li Let every yoke be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let miracle take place in your life. Let uncommon and unusual strength come upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Can we stand on our feet as we round up tonight? Can we stand on our feet?
stretch out those hands to heaven. It was an ordinary oil that Samuel poured on the head of David. But immediately after that encounter, David became extraordinary. By sunrise today, may you become extraordinary in the name of Jesus. Anything that wants to confront you, they will bow to you in the name of Jesus. On your behalf, I take authority over this week. And I say throughout this week, as you go out, as you come in, signs, wonders will follow you in the name of Jesus. You will assess uncommon and unusual doors of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. All your heart desire for today and this week will be granted unto you in the name of Jesus. I forbid in your life, you will not struggle today. You will not struggle this week. Help we come for you in the name of Jesus. Uncommon favor will follow you everywhere you go in the name of Jesus. The glory of God will envelop you and terminate shame in your life in the name of Jesus. Everyone waiting to mock you, they will wait in vain in the name of Jesus. Your mocker shall be ashamed in the name of Jesus. I say your mockers shall be ashamed in the name of Jesus. I say your mockers shall be ashamed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name in highest. May the Lord accept our offering. Prosper you on every side. And for the rest of your life, poverty will see you and run in the name of Jesus. Lack will see you and flee in the name of Jesus. Let God accept your offering tonight in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the people of God will say a louder and a powerful jam those hands together for the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Our brethren online, we want to appreciate God for your life. We do it the same time uh, because we are broadcasting from the church. The timing now is 11.30 to one and so you can join us from 11 30 and the lord bless you 11 30 nigerian time and i know that every one of all we have a testimony we love you and we appreciate you see you tomorrow and god almighty before tomorrow will have given you testimony whose testimony will be the first to be heard if you are the one let your own hallelujah be the loudest so good night everybody God bless you. The grace.